At the end of its life, all that may be left of a very large star is a tiny, super heavy, tightly compacted rotating neutron star called a pulsar. To find its elusive signature, researchers draw on the Fermi Gamma Ray Space Telescope's large area instrument. Gamma rays are pure energy. When they smash into the detector's tungsten plates, Einstein's E equals mc squared equation takes over, spawning a pair of subatomic particles, one electron, and one antimatter mirror image of that electron called a positron. Working back up the trails of these particles, astrophysicists can derive a direction pointing the way back to the source of the gamma radiation on the sky. Meanwhile, Fermi's calorimeter device absorbs the particles and measures their energy. By painstakingly calculating the location and power of each gamma ray hit, scientists use the Fermi data to build up a picture of the object that emitted them. It takes a ferocious amount of computing power to work out, by sheer trial and error, the true position of the source. Pulsars can spin many times each second, spraying tight streams of radio waves and gamma rays across the universe. These strange objects really are like lighthouses. If a civilization in one part of the galaxy wanted to reveal its location to another society far away, they might simply broadcast their distance to three pulsars, marked by the blip rate of these cosmic beacons. And they could easily be found. Space.com.